My mother was a nurse educator and she always said, don't do medicine because it will take over your whole life. And she was absolutely right. Hi, Sasha. How are you? I think being a paediatrician, a paediatric neurologist is incredibly important to me. I think it's very much about who I am. I love looking after my patients and their families and seeing the science come back and help them is very important. You and I are so good at this. That's great. My work is mainly focused on how epilepsy is inherited and genes causing epilepsy. I work in team science with many other scientists of different disciplines and together we try and figure out which genes are causing epilepsy and then how that's happening and hopefully one day we can help take that forward to a cure. When two scientists work together there's often a question, you know, would each do better alone. Thankfully that hasn't happened with the two of us and um, I'm hoping that we can stay together as a, as a scientific partnership for a long time. In 1995 as a big team we found the first gene for genetic form of epilepsy and since then we've found about 13 of the 23 or so genes known for epilepsy. Thank you. Are you doing some hopping for us? That's very good. You come and have a there are many forms of epilepsy, um, ranging from mild to severe, but now a lot of my work focuses on the very severe epilepsies in early childhood. She sleeps the best she's ever slept, and, and for the length of time. These children can have very frequent seizures, sometimes many a day, and associated with the frequent seizures, the child can show developmental slowing and they may become intellectually impaired and then together with that they can get very marked behavioural problems. Sometimes I have to deal with very sad situations, a child who's getting sicker or dying. I think learning to control my emotions has been a hard thing to do along my career as a, as a paediatric neurologist. It makes life more interesting, I guess, and more complex um, as part of the fabric of life and of science. And what do you think about this side? One of the major issues that holds women back in pursuing a scientific career is their confidence. And I have felt that very much myself when I was younger, and now I am quite confident, but it took a lot of training. We really need to grow women and to, to show them that they can succeed. I think that women can do anything they want. They have to have passion, they have to have drive, they have to work on refining what they do and try and take it to the next level. And I think that we can lead the world in many ways and I would encourage lots of young women to do that.